Welcome back to BJP Lifestyle, guys. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button down below right now. If you're interested in the hidden features on the Dodge Charger, then make sure to stay tuned till the end because we have a lot of cool different features to show you guys. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy the ones towards the end. So we're going to start small with this first one, which I think is actually really, really interesting. And if you leave your key fob inside of the trunk and you go ahead and close the lid, it's actually going to automatically unlatch after one to two seconds. But if you have another key fob in your pocket or within five feet of the vehicle, when you do that, it will stay locked and stay latched. That way you can lock an extra set of keys inside of your trunk Maybe you have two with you and you don't want to bring them both with you So you can lock the other one in the trunk so they're not as easy to access It kind of prevents you from getting your keys locked in there and then having to fight with trying to get the other set of keys Your spare key or whatever over to be able to open it and actually get into it Now this hidden feature is actually going to help with all Mopar vehicles So it doesn't matter if you have a charger a challenger a jeep even if your key fob dies All you're gonna have to do is just take your key fob take the little nose end part of it Push it right up to where you would press the push start button and start it as if it was your finger but use the key that has a dead battery or maybe a low battery and it's not strong enough for it to function this is a super useful one if you guys are going to have any kind of issues where you might have a dead key fob which it happens you know the batteries don't last forever so it's definitely one that i'd recommend you guys know and keep that in the back of your mind just in case it ever happens to you if you've ever had a situation where your car battery has died or your car is stuck in park and you've broken down and you're unable to get it into neutral to either push it or put it on a uh, flatbed or some sort of way to tow it you need to pop it into neutral so if you're having issues with that and your car's stuck in park with a dead battery and you're not able to shift it, what you can do is actually lift up this little tray here on the side where it says Dodge Brothers, pop that open and you'll notice there's like a little trap door under there. And all you're gonna need to do is use a key or a flathead, pop that open and then you'll be able to pull up the actual manual park release, which is just gonna release it into neutral from the park mode. So you're actually able to get the car onto a flatbed tow or just push it out of the way if it's stuck in park somewhere and you need to move it. This one's gonna be for you guys and girls that have the Scat Pack or Hellcats and different models like that that have the different drive modes like track sport custom auto those kind of modes what you're going to want to do is if you want to load into your custom mode preset you guys can see what i have mine set for basically mine is just a sport mode with uh, traction turned on so if i ever want to drive in sport mode with traction on instead of traction off then i can just go ahead and go into my custom mode now normally you'd have to click the drive modes button and then wait for it to load for a second and then click into the actual mode itself to choose custom now one little quick shortcut that you guys can do here is just double tap the drive modes button just like this and it will go ahead and pop you right into that custom mode so whatever your custom preset is if that's your favorite thing to drive in you can easily swap to it from the auto mode by just double tapping that button real quick when you hop in and you'll be good to go a lot of people don't know this on the jeep either but there's actually a little hook in the trunk so when you open up your trunk and you have the flat floor mat there and you have the little handle to lift it up to access your little under tray compartment where you might have your fix a flat and stuff like that a lot of people don't know about that little hook and what it's there for in this model it's actually not as useful because you don't have a spare tire but if you had a spare tire back there it's super helpful to just hook it up and be able to grab whatever you need either way it's still useful it's still helpful because you're able to hook it up a lot of people don't know about it or what it's there for or they think it's to hold the mat down which it might be kind of a secondary use to do that but it's meant to hang it up so that you can access that under tray compartment now while you're down there in the under tray compartment you're actually going to find your fix a flat slash air compressor kit now it's really surprised me that a lot of people didn't know what this was for or how to use it so you can actually use this as any other air compressor so you can use it to just fill up your tires when they're low you can use it on the go you can use it at home wherever because it's just going to plug into the little 12 volt outlet in your vehicle now the nice thing about this is it does have the fix a flat kit so what you're going to want to do is actually make sure if you're using the air compressor that you're using the air compressor side and the air compressor setting there's gonna be two different modes one's going to actually pour fluid through a tube which is going to uh, spray into your tire to fix a flat and basically repair it enough that you'll be able to get home with this kind of sealed coating on the inside of your tire now you're not meant to drive above 55 with that so do note that don't go speeding and driving fast and also don't be driving long distances it's just the same as like putting a donut on you don't want to be driving fast or driving long distances but this is going to be super helpful say you're at the beach and you need to fill up some inflatables fill up some balloons different things like that whatever it may be you're able to just go ahead and fill those up if you're somewhere and you want to fill up a bike tire you have a compressor right in your car that you're going to need to keep in there as a fix a flat kit anyway so it's a really nice little convenient feature that a lot of people for some reason don't know about so this one's kind of weird and i'm not 100 percent sure if there's a setting to actually turn it off within the uconnect system there may be but i don't believe there is and that's going to be this auto park setting so basically what's going to happen is if you have your door open and you go to put the car in drive or reverse it's actually going to put the car right into park on its own which is actually super annoying because sometimes i just want to move the car up a little bit or back a little bit and the door's open i just want to quickly move it but it throws it right into park and the only way to change this or to swap out of it is to actually put your foot on the brake switch it to park and then switch it back to drive with the door closed so it's kind of a nice safety feature i guess in the end so you don't get hurt but in the end of the day if you're just doing that kind of basic thing um it kind of is annoying this one i believe only 
only comes on vehicles that have like the memory seat settings and stuff like that but that's going to be for your mirrors and it's going to have a setting within the uconnect that's actually going to power tilt the mirrors when you throw the car in reverse so as you guys can see here when i pop the car into reverse it actually tilts the mirrors down and what that's going to do is just allow you to be able to see the lines if you're trying to park within something be able to see what's behind you down low as well as see the curb which is going to be really helpful if you're trying to parallel park or get this thing into a tight space as you guys know it's essentially a land boat at the end of the day so it's kind of tough to navigate into some tight spaces especially when you're trying to parallel park or back it into those kind of tight corners and put it up against a wall or up against the curb it can kind of help you out with that now this last one is actually something a little bit weird that i've never even heard of and that's going to be the rbs system which is known as a rain brake support system so if you're like me you probably never heard of it and it probably doesn't mean much to you so basically what it does is when your wipers are on low or high it's actually going to automatically turn the setting on for you so you don't have to do anything for it basically what it says is it improves braking performance in wet conditions periodically applying a small amount of brake pressure to your front rotors so that you actually can wipe off that little bit of buildup of liquid so it doesn't just kind of slide and slip and make that squeaky noise so this can be super helpful if you are driving in the rain and you don't have to worry about it because it's not something you have to turn on it's going to be on by its own and you don't even have to worry about it at all so last but not least this one's going to be actually really helpful for you guys and that's going to be when you guys are driving from a rolling start and you want to get going all you're going to want to do is if you want to really slam on it win that race and get it from a rolling start just hold down your left paddle while the paddles are active as you guys can see here it's going to drop it into the lowest gear possible and if you guys are flooring it it's probably going to spin depending on what wheels and tires you have but if it does spin either way you'll be good and you're going to take off and it's going to book and then for this last one it's just going to be that you need to smash that like button down below to help the youtube algorithm help this video out to more people and of course help the channel grow on the same note if you're not already subscribed make sure you click the subscribe button down below right now be notified when new videos go live new videos are monday wednesday and friday at 3 p.m here on the channel of course shout out shop lifestyle get yourself some lifestyle merch but thanks for watching guys peace